AMD's latest range of desktop CPUs, the Ryzen 9000 series, is here. These share the same sockets AM5 as the Ryzen 7000 series, so are compatible with existing AMD 600 series chipset motherboards and CPU coolers. So if that's all the same, then what's new? Well, under the hood, or should I say heat spreader, is the new Zen 5 architecture, which AMD claims delivers on average 16% more IPC over Zen 4. And this is made possible by improvements at the front end, execution engine and back end of the cores, plus the branch predictor. Another specific worth calling out is replacing the dual pump 256-bit FPU for a true 512-bit FPU. And AMD claims that this should boost the performance of AVX 512 instructions by up to 35%, much more than the 16% average across all workloads previously mentioned. And as AVX 512 is increasingly being adopted in AI and cryptography applications as well as games, the improved FPU could add even more performance in the long run. It's also worth noting that Zen 5 is made using a 4 nanometer process at TSMC versus the larger 5 nanometer process of Zen 4, helping to lower power consumption. Now, the only thing that's a bit disappointing is that AMD hasn't upgraded the integrated GPU. It remains RDNA 2 based. Now, whilst most gamers and workstation users will never use these in favor of a discrete GPU, a more powerful GPU or NPU would be very useful for the growing range of everyday AI applications such as Microsoft Copilot Plus. The initial lineup of Ryzen 9 9000 series includes two models, the 9950X and 9900X. They have the same number of cores as their direct predecessors, the 7950X and 7900X, 16 and 12 respectively. Clock speeds are barely changed and the cache configuration is the same as well, which leads to the slightly awkward situation where the 7950X 3D and 7900X 3D with their huge level 3 cache might be faster than the new Ryzen 9000s in some games, but you don't need to be Mystic Meg to foresee that AMD will launch X3D versions of Ryzen 9000 at some point to solve this problem. A couple of final things to note. All the new Ryzen 9000 support 5600 as opposed to 5200 MHz of DDR5. I can now address up to 192 as opposed to 128 GB of memory. Two welcome improvements, especially if you're a content creator. There's a single new Ryzen 7, the 9700X. Like the older 7700X, it has eight cores and the same cache configuration. Whilst the base clock and therefore its TDP is actually lower than the older CPU. The new 9700X has a higher boost clock and improved IPC, so is most definitely faster. Don't forget the 9700X also supports faster and larger memory capacities too. The same pattern repeats with Ryzen 5 as well, with the 9600X having a lower base clock and TDP than the 7600X but higher boost clock. Don't forget the 9600X also supports faster and larger memory capacities also. So there you have it, a quick rundown of AMD's new Ryzen 9000 series processors. And whilst they don't offer any more cores, the claimed 16% IPC improvements, greater power efficiency, plus faster and larger memory supports are all very welcome. It's also worth noting that although Ryzen 9000's work in existing AM5 motherboards based on AMD 600 series chipsets, AMD is planning to launch new 800 series chipsets later this year. The flagship X870E and X870 chipsets will add in native support for USB 4, which at 40 gigabits per second is twice as fast as USB 3.2. Both X870 chipsets are fully PCIe 5, with the E version providing double the number of USB and SATA ports. There'll also be a new B850 mid-range chipset and B840 entry-level chipset which won't include USB 4 as standard, just USB 3.2. There's no need to wait for an 800 series chipset motherboard though, you can order a brilliant new Ryzen 7 9700X or Ryzen 5 9600X CPU or 3XS Systems Gaming PC or Workstation from the SCAN website now. 
The Ryzen 9 9950X and 9900X will be available from the 15th. So keep an eye on the website then and follow the links in the description to find out more.